What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Got the KTM e-trek finished up. Let's check it out. Welcome back. Guys, this was probably one of the most, one of the most tedious pro projects in my life, but we got it done. Let's get into it. Just imagine there was a dirt bike seat here at one time. And when you take that off, there's nothing to hook your ATV seat to. We're gonna go through time lapse. We're gonna get this thing put together. At the end of the video, we're gonna take this thing for a test ride. I'm super excited to see how this uh, electric trike does. What do we got? She charged? We got a fully charged battery. She's ready to rip. Oh man. Alex, what's up with your foot pegs? Uh, they're Bluetooth. They have Bluetooth. the Bluetooth pegs on it. Bluetooth like the ECU? Yeah. They good? I don't know. Good for a test drive. Yeah. Some good little welds on her. Hell yeah. She's gonna get those on and we'll rip it. The springs. <laughs> That's the trike for Alex. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he, he should be in mode one, but we'll get mode two today. <laughs> Well guys, every once in a while, you do a motor swap in 20 minutes. I think had an internal, I guess, ECU problem. It was flashing a code, so called the dealership, it's under warranty. So we swapped the motor out with the spare bike we had. We're gonna race this electric trike against the Fat Cat. 1987 Fat Cat versus brand new E-Trek. Let's check it out. She needs a carb clean, but she got her on that. She got a tire on it. <laughs> we don't got any internal ECM problems on this guy. Yeah, it is. Dude, when you, when you do a motor swap in 15, 20 minutes, you deserve to ride it first. <laughs> Shenanigans. This is the first time Alex could ride. No, he's rolled the big red. It counts. There you go. I was only on mode two. I was gonna limit you a mode one, but <laughs> it's fine. What is what is 80 kilometers an hour to mile? Like 45. That's not too bad. <laughs> Watch how fast this thing takes off in 3D. Everyone said it would be slow, but this thing hauls ass. I'm about to get on it and check it out. This thing is wild. It's a little weird, so if you roll into it, then go and fix right up. So compared to the Alta. So compared to the Alta. 
Alto would destroy it, but for an all around fun bike, I think this is it because it's reliable. Yeah. Is it though? I mean, except for whenever your motorboat. I said that. I don't think it is. Except whenever your motorboat is up and you got like four tenths of an hour on it. That's why. <laughs> she got struck by lightning? Something like that. Hurt the guys. We took a brand new KTM free ride. Our customer is a wild man. He wanted it as a trike. He also wants one as a quad. We're going to do a big wheel, but we're going with a quad. So stay tuned for the quad video. But for right now, we have as much of a quad on this as we can, other than the front end. <laughs> so as you guys know, these things come with basically a seat that starts all the way in the front. So this was all fabricated. We tried to make this look as much like elastic material as possible. See how it flows into the gripper seat. Got the uh, turret conversion swing arm in the back. It's all modern TRX 450R components. Custom subframe. Got the battery box back here. Very interesting frame design. So we have a very heavily boxed and gusseted front bracket here holding the top of the subframe with the normal lower subframe. So basically you pop these two bolts out. We're actually gonna put some thumb screws on here. This flips up and that's how you get to your battery to swap it out or charge it. We're so excited today. We didn't even get a chance to powder coat the full peg. We just wanna ride this thing. We also don't have the fender brackets on it and some filler panels here, but we wanna ride this bike today and show you guys, I guess what it's all about. Uh, we've been a little bit quiet because we've got a lot of top secret projects going on right now such as the Banshee Tri, a couple CR500s. E-Quad, it's all coming. So stay tuned to this channel. We're gonna do a follow-up video on this bike. So stay tuned in a couple days. We're gonna get it all buttoned up, get it 100% finished. We're gonna get these kits on our website, bbctrikes.com. Check it out. I'll see you guys in the next video.